Hi, welcome to our brand new Microsoft Azure Fundamental AZ900 Dummy Questions 2022. In this video, we are going to discuss all the dummy questions of Microsoft Azure 900 exam. I'm your host Kushal Mehta and let's get started. Question 25. You need to create an Azure support request. Choose the two best solutions. And the options are Option 1. Azure Support Ticket REST API Option 2 Azure Portal Option 3 Knowledge Center Option 4 Security and Compliance Center Option 5 Support.Microsoft.com And the correct answer is Option 1 Azure Support Ticket REST API And Option 2 Azure Portal Explanation Option 1 and 2 are correct answer. You can make a support request from the Azure portal. You can also use the Azure support ticket REST API to programmatically create and manage requests. Option 3 is incorrect. Knowledge Center is incorrect. Knowledge Center is a collection of common questions and answers about Azure. Option 4 is incorrect. The Security and Compliance Center only provides operations related to security and regulatory compliance. Option 5 is incorrect. Support requests are made from the Azure portal instead of support.microsoft.com. Question 26. You plan to build your application with an Azure virtual machine. Redundancy must be ensured so that the services running on the virtual machine are available in the event of a single data center failure. Solution. Deploy the virtual machine to two or more AZs or more AZs. Does this solution meet the requirements? And the options are Option 1. Yes. Option 2. No. And the correct answer is Option 1. Yes. Explanation. Yes is the correct answer. Deploying VMs to more than one availability zone can keep them available in the event of a single data center failure. Question 27. You want to collaborate on application development with high performance pipelines and GIT repositories. Which is the best Azure solution for that? And the options are Option 1. Azure Dev Test Labs Option 2. Azure Teams Option 3. Azure DevOps Option 4. Visual Studio Team Services And the correct answer is Option 3. Azure DevOps Explanation Option 3 is the correct answer. Azure DevOps uses development collaboration tools such as high-performance pipelines, free private GIT repositories, configurable Kanban boards, and extensively automated cloud-based load testing. Option 1 is incorrect. DevTest Labs is for quickly creating Windows and Linux environments as needed to test or demo your applications directly from the deployment pipeline. Option 2 is incorrect. There is no service called Azure Teams. Option 4 is incorrect. Azure DevOps was formerly known as Visual Studio Team Services. This is the old service name. Question 28. Your company has an on-premises environment and multiple servers and databases. They plan to migrate multiple servers to Azure in the future. Which tasks are alleviated in your administrative work compared to your on-premises environment? Please select 2. And the options are Option 1. Physical Server Replacement Option 2. Server Operating System Update Option 3. Operational Document Management Option 4. Access Authority Management Option 5. Applying Security Patches for Physical Servers And the correct answer is Option 1. Physical Server Replacement Explanation Option 1 and 5 are correct answers. According to Azure Responsibility Sharing Model, the Azure site will be responsible for managing all physical hardware. Therefore, 
in the event of a hardware server failure, it is Azure's responsibility to replace them as needed. Replacing the physical server and applying security patches for the physical server are management tasks that should be performed on the data center side. So they cannot be performed on the user side. Option 2 is incorrect. When using an Azure virtual machine, it is required that the user perform work such as updating the OS. Option 3 is incorrect. It is required for the user to create and manage the user's own operation document for sharing the Azure operation management policy among the user members. Option 4 is incorrect. Access management is a matter that should be managed on the user side using Azure AD. Question 29. True or false? The availability zone consists of a single data center. And the options are Option 1. True. Option 2. False. And the correct answer is Option 2. False. Explanation. The correct answer is False. Availability zone are unique physical locations within your Azure region. Each zone consists of one or more data centers with independent power supplies, cooling means, and networks. Question number 30. True or false? Availability zones are used to replicate data and applications to multiple regions. And the options are Option 1. True. Option 2. False. And the correct answer is Option 2. False. Explanation. The correct answer is false. By default, Azure availability zones are used to replicate applications and data only within an Azure region. Availability zones are physically separated within a region, so you can protect your applications and data in the event of a data center failure. Zone redundancy services replicate applications and data across availability zones to protect against a single point of failure. In availability zones, Azure delivers the industry's highest 99.99% VM uptime SLAs. Question 31. True or false? Each region has at least three separate zones. And the options are Option 1. True. Option 2. False. And the correct answer is Option 2. Explanation. The correct answer is false. Not all regions have availability zones. Regions that support availability zones have a minimum of three separate zones to ensure resiliency. So it is not necessarily true that all regions will have three availability zones. Next question. Please select the option to fill in the following blanks. After you create a virtual machine, you need to change the dash to allow the virtual machine to connect to TCP port 8080. And the options are Option 1. Network Security Group NSG Option 2. Virtual Network Gateway Option 3. Virtual Network Option 4. Root Table And the correct answer is Option 1. Network Security Group NSG Explanation Option 1 is the correct answer. By default, all inbound connections are not allowed on L4. So unless you have a network interface, you need to modify the rules of the network security group so that all inbound connections from port 80 slash 8080 can reach the VM. Option 2 is incorrect. The Azure Virtual Network Gateway is a VPN device in the Azure Virtual Network that is used to set up a site-to-site -site VPN connection between the Azure Virtual Network and the local network or a VNet to VNet VPN connection. Option 3 is incorrect. A virtual network is nothing more than a private isolated network in Azure because it is used to enable Azure resources such as virtual machines to communicate securely with other Azure resources, the internet and resources in your on-premises network. Option 4 is incorrect. The Azure route table is incorrect because it only contains a set of rules 
that specify how packets are routed in the virtual network. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Buy our premium AZ bundle with 90% off. Check link in the description.